lush, colorful, daring. Each piece, each artistic phase tells a story. The signature style of artist Faith Ringgold. The process is so wonderful. She is best known for these, her story quilts. A patchwork of images with a story written right onto the fabric. This one, Tar Beach, was adapted into a now beloved award-winning children's book. Why are these girls so happy? Why not? Why but in not? fact, yeah. Ringgold's work spans over 70 years, an observation of decades of social upheaval in America. When people said one thing, you would say, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yes, because uh, that's necessary if you wanna do something. You cannot just go by what other people want. A consummate fighter for justice, Ringgold, now 90, struggled to be seen and heard as a black female artist through the civil rights movement of the 1960s and the women's liberation movement of the 1970s. I constantly looked for the galleries that accepted black artists. If I asked and they said no, it didn't bother me because I expected to hear no. Born in Harlem in 1930, Ringgold credits her determination to her parents. Due to debilitating asthma, she was educated mostly at home, which she says gave her the freedom to be herself. I think there was a lot of feeling at that time that we can't do this, we can't do that. Oh, yes, we can. You can do it. All you got to do is try. So when the art world rejected her or tried to pigeonhole her work, she fought back. What was their difficulty with you and your work? First of all, I painted white people. By then, she was teaching at a New York City high school by day and painting by night. This 1962 piece is called Four Women at a Table. So you were one of the black teachers there, but you weren't allowed at that table? I noticed that I wasn't invited. Did I want to sit with them? Of course. I wanted to be included, but you're supposed to stay with the black people and don't paint white people because white people were considered superior. And if you painted them in such a way that they were characterized in one way or the other, then you would criticize because you were causing trouble. I painted them the way I saw them. Sorry. <laughs> and <laughs> So this is Who's Afraid of Aunt Jemima. We get different colors of hair, different colors of people. This is a family that's interracial. If she wanted to do something, she was not going to let anything stand in her way. Whether that was experimenting with different kinds of media or techniques, she was, she was gonna do it, mm -hmm. no matter what. <laughs> so this room has the American collection, right? Which Emily Rails is director and chief curator of the Glenstone Museum in Potomac, Maryland, where a large body of Ringgold's work is currently on display. Each decade brought a new innovation. One of the things that I feel really defines her practice is this fearlessness mm -hmm. to take on anything. In 1968, when New York's Whitney Museum put on a retrospective of American art from the 1930s onward, that didn't include a single black artist, Ringgold protested, along with dozens of fellow black artists. In 1970, Ringgold helped organize a show in downtown Manhattan. There were flag desecration laws in place, and there were certain people who were being arrested for, for doing that kind of work, and she thought that was wrong, and she was gonna do something about it, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and so she organized a show where a bunch of artists all used the flag as their imagery, and she got arrested. That same year, Ringgold became involved with the women's movement, fighting for women's art to be seen. I always thought the black power movement was more about black men and the feminist movement was more about white women and not women of color. Mm -hmm. Did you have the same impression? Yes. I had to fit the women in. And they were there. Absolutely. So let them in. And finally, doors have started to open. Did you ever dance on the George Washington Bridge yourself? Not yet. Okay, Thanks in part time. to her own <laughs> perseverance. I have kind of forgotten the sharp feeling I used to get of being 
rejected. And maybe it has to do with being left out so many times. I right, go ahead, leave me out if you want. They'll <laughs> come in another door. <laughs> Have you felt more free as you've gotten older? As you get older, you become more free. Mm -hmm. If you will take advantage of the freedom that you have attained. Anyone can fly. All you got to do is try.